Hey, this is Paul, and we get the question quite often, how much sun should I give my dragon fruit plant? And that's a really complex answer. In short, you can give it full sun like you see right here. Look at all the blooms. Now we do get a little bit of chlorosis here, that yellowing of the dragon fruit, and that's often variety dependent. Uh, this is a Guatemalan variety like American Beauty, and the Guatemalenses tend to get a little bit of yellowing, but as you can see, that almost entices them to bloom. In other words, these plants like to get a little sun stress, and that helps them want to bloom. So, number one thing though, you can see how, much, how many varieties we grow in the full sun, but the number one thing you want to talk about is your growing media. So you want to grow in a compost-free potting soil. That is absolutely the most important thing in my opinion. Now, we used to have these pots full of fox farms. We were following those big YouTube videos and they recommended using fox farms. And within one year, I could tell that something was wrong. These plants were really yellow, especially during the winter. Uh, they were getting some rot here at the stem. These are some older plants here that have been repotted. But I was getting stem rot, having all sorts of problems. So number one thing is using a compost-free potting soil. You could use 100% sand. We, use, we have pots of just straight sand, top dressed with a compost fertilizer. So compost is good when it's on the top. But in your potting soil, you're going to get really big problems, and that's going to affect your sun tolerance, in my experience. So now that we're compost free in our potting soil, you can see having just tons of blooms here, lots of flower buds, really, really healthy plants. Now, certain varieties do not do so well in the full sun. You can see we have some more Guatemalans here. This is Shana. Again, some sun stress, but it's still fl flowering and fruiting. So this one I maybe would recommend maybe a 75% to 85% sun exposure. A little bit of shade in the afternoon would probably be perfect. But you can see this plant's thriving. It's really happy. It's got multiple flower buds in different waves. It's doing fine. That's just kind of an aspect of the variety. Now I would say this, these varieties tend to need a little shade in Southern California. This is a Pelora. So yellow Pelora. In fact, I actually have to graft it. They're grafted here and I grafted them because I was getting a lot of stem rot in the spring with this variety. So this variety, you can see right here, it gets afternoon shade. The bamboo is giving it some nice filtered sunlight. Look at how happy and healthy it is. This variety does need a little less sun in my experience. If it's in full sun, it will yellow and lead to rot. Uh, this one is Country Roads. This one actually is cold sensitive. I would say it's more cold than, um, than heat sensitive. You can see it got some frost damage last season. But I thought I saw some flower buds on here, some new growth at least. So it's got something here. I, th I thought I saw a flower bud or two here somewhere. But uh, again, this one I noticed it does much better getting some shade in the afternoon. This Maria Fusia seems to like, again, about a 75 to 85% sun. And it's just starting to get some filtered sunlight. You can see how happy and healthy it is. Now, sometimes you can get too much shade. So... We have some varieties here, like I had to prune off some more of this bamboo and this uh, jade red and this skeels polyrhizus. They both, in my opinion, are getting a little bit too little sunlight. Uh, the, the branches are a little bit thin, a little bit atoliated. So my job is I'm gonna prune this out and get a little bit more sun. It's probably getting about 60% sunlight here, 65% in this spot. So this is what it looks like in my opinion when you need a little bit more sun. And over here, I've been actually pruning out this bamboo here for a while. Scott, you noticed that I've thinned it out and that's because of this beautiful plant here. This is one of our unknowns from Elk Creek. I call this Elk Creek unknown number two. And you can see it's just really, really green. I mean, it, in, this much shade, you're gonna, if you want to grow cuttings, this is what you want to grow in. I mean, look at how healthy this plant is. But if you want flower and fruit, this needs more sunlight, a little bit more sun stress. So you can see I've removed some bamboo. I'm going to do some more when I have some green waste trash cans available. But uh, this, these plants here are not getting enough sunlight. Same with this Desert King, the Diego's Desert King. It's, it, I've pruned it out. It's getting a, enough sunlight now. To This is what I was hoping. See that right there, Scott? A little bit of chlorosis there, a little bit of yellowing. That means that this thing might flower soon. So in short, there is no really short answer about how much sunlight a dragon fruit plant can get, but it's more about how much sun they can tolerate. And they can tolerate a whole lot of sun if you have the right potting soil. If you're growing them 
and a nice developed rooting system, a big enough pot in other words. What you definitely don't want to do is take a new cutting and just stick it into your pot in this much sun. It's going to turn, get sunburned and it's going to die. So again, nice developed root zone and slowly introduce it to a lot of sun. Your plants are going to be really happy and healthy like this one. So thanks for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. Take care. Thank you.